Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you weren't expecting to hear my great sense of humour tonight because I'm going to tell you about what some would consider a boring topic, business intelligence. I can assure you, management accountants find it very exciting. <laughs> now, I acknowledge that the subject matter may be a little bit dry, so hopefully you've all still got a sugar rush from the fortune cookies that you had before, and that will be through the next five minutes. And if not, then just try and keep your eyes open. <laughs> So, to my understanding, most of you probably have no idea what a business intelligence solution is. Um, could I get a show of hands for anyone who's heard of business intelligence before? Never heard. It's not too bad. That's almost half the room, a third of the room, perhaps. Uh, which that's a pretty good, pretty good strike rate. So I'm going to try and aim this presentation at beginners, people who haven't heard of business intelligence before, just to describe what it is all about and, and some of the basic concepts. Now what is business intelligence? Business intelligence is a term that gets bandied around a lot, in certain circles anyway. It's something of a buzzword at the moment, if you, if you happen to work in finance particularly. Uh, but at its most simple, it's just about providing information to the business in meaningful ways. It's, I guess it's taking data, raw data, and manipulating it and yeah, providing it to the business so that they can make meaningful business decisions with that data. Uh, the term business intelligence can encompass everything from data organisation through to reporting tools and reporting platforms. So business intelligence delivers key information to the people that need it quickly and efficiently. It pulls together disparate data sources, it analyses this data to produce meaningful information, and it presents the data in a variety of output formats depending on the target reader. So those four points really encompass what business intelligence is. So next up, we have a picture of an end-to-end -end business intelligence solution. That's probably a little bit overwhelming, but I'll return to it a couple of times throughout the presentation. Uh, now at the bottom, you have your, your disparate data sources that I was talking about. Now, these data sources could be anything. They could be a billing system, a HR system, a, a client relationship system. Uh, they could be an Excel spreadsheet, anywhere where you can store data. Then, the next process is the, it's called the DTL. And that's a good word to, uh, phrase to bandy about if you want to sound like you know what you're talking about when you don't really. That's extract, transform, load. So you extract the data from, the dis from these data sources, you transform it into a new format, and you load it into the data warehouse. And the data warehouse is where the data from these different sources is organised in such a way that you can that, that it allows the user to interrogate it um, and start to analyse the data, produce meaningful reports, and draw meaningful conclusions. Up here, you have your analytical repositories. Now, I won't go into those too much, but they're basically tools that help you access the data in the data warehouse. Um, and then, at the top, you have your customer platform, or your reporting platform, which is where all of the manipulation that you've done with the data down here gets put into a format where the end user, who probably knows nothing about all of this, can have a report that tells them about the business, tells them the information that they're after. Now, what are some of the questions that a company might want to know? Which are our best customers? Who are my customers and what products are they buying? What is the most effective distribution channel? What is our revenue broken down by region? What promotions have the biggest impact on revenue? Which customers are most likely to go to the competition? Now these are just examples of a few questions that someone that's running a business might want to know, but it's, it's infinite really. It's anything that they could want to know about, the, about their business. What, without a business intelligence solution, it can be difficult to get an answer to some of these questions. Now, I want to try and give a very simple example to try and explain this concept of business intelligence. So, uh, I work for a law firm. Now, a law firm is reasonably simple business, you have lawyers, they work on cases for clients, and then they bill the clients. 
Now, you might have a billing, if we look back at these data sources, you might have a billing system that um, records the time that the lawyers work on a client's case and then you bill the client. Now, your boss might come up to you one day and say, Steve, can you tell me, uh, show me what the revenue of the business is broken down by gender or by office? Now, in the billing system, this information doesn't exist because you've got just the, the revenue for the individual lawyers against the lawyer's name. You don't know what gender they are, you don't know what office they come from. Now, you might also have a HR system. Now, the HR system will have all of the employees of the organisation with details about those employees and what office they exist in, what their gender is. So you need to somehow combine that data. So you need to combine the, the information that you have in the billing system with the information that you have in the HR system. Or in other words, you need to extract it, transform it, and load it into the data warehouse. And once it's in the data warehouse, uh, myself as a management accountant, I need to access that data using the analytical repositories or the data tools. And only then can I answer the question that my boss is asking. What's the revenue of the firm broken down by office or by, um, or by gender? And then lastly, you have the reporting platform. And that's just about presenting the information to the end user in a, method, in a format that they can easily read. And that's your presentation layer. So here, this is an actual data from my firm. These are just <laughs> slides we've got after that. Here we have the revenue broken down by office. So saying Sydney has 45% of the revenue, Melbourne, blurry percent um, <laughs> and over here we have the revenue broken down by gender. So by running the data through the business intelligence solution I've been able to answer my boss's simple question what is the revenue of the office broken down by of the revenue of the firm broken down by office and gender. So in summary business intelligence delivers key information, pulls together disparate data sources, analyzes this data to provide meaningful information and presents it in a variety of outputs to the target reader. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.